What's going on guys? So I just wanted to talk to you about a little project I did where I modified my SS brew bucket lid to accept a Blickman chill coil uh, for connecting to a uh, pump to run glycol coolant solution through the coil to keep your wort temperature controlled. Um, it's a little bit more complex, advanced way to keep your beer cool, much like uh, the professionals do. Uh, they use glycol systems. Well, this is a mini version mod for home brewers. And I don't know what glycol system you're using. Me, I just got the stasis in and I'm hoping it works well uh, for my future fermentation temperature control. So let's take a look at what I threw together here. You'll see this is the lid. And I actually used a step drill bit to drill the new holes and not really happy with the step drill bit I use because it's kind of worn out. So, and you'll see here when I show you the other bucket lid, how it didn't turn out quite as well, but the bung fits in good enough for me to uh, go forward with it. So I'm gonna talk to you about this process, but let me get the other lid right quick. This is the lid. As you see, these holes came out pretty good here. This hole is janky, <laughs> but you know what? It will still accept my the rubber bung that goes in there to hold my thermo well uh, and what a thermo well is for those that don't know that might be new to home brewing a thermo well is basically just a little tube that you can put your probe in so that you can detect the temperature inside your uh, fermenter so it knows to kick the glycol system on or not to get the temperature down to where it needs to be for that fermentation for that lager or for that ale whatever you're doing so yeah I, <laughs> kinda, it's kind of an ugly job man I am not a metal worker by any means but it came out pretty good overall, I must say. I had to take a, a Dremel as well and grind some things down. So let's talk about the process that was involved for doing this. So first of all, what I had to do was I had to get my lid and mark where the holes were gonna be. And then I had to take my step drill bit with a corded drill. A cordless drill will not work. You'll sap your battery fast, especially with um, the amount of power needed. So you need almost like an impact drill, something that's corded that can handle the uh, resistance of the metal. So here's what we did. We took a stroke drill bit, we marked our spots, and then I also went ahead and pushed down, gave it a little bit of firm pressure on the initial drill and started to push in the first step on the bit and it just kind of whittled it down until I went all the way through with my 7 8 bit. Seven eighths is what you need for the Blickman coil. Now, I also needed an additional hole in the lid for my thermo well. You may not need this. You may not need to drill the thermo well hole if, uh, if you have some other way you wanna keep track of the temperature. But for the system to work right, you really need to have the, you need to have the uh, thermometer or sensor inside the wort where the, where the actual fermentation is going on to get an accurate temperature check. Then, after I drilled out the holes, then I had to take a Dremel and cut off the excess bits of flare out or pieces that kind of flared out on the inside of the lid. So I cut those off and then I took a stone and Dremel down and ground down all the burrs to get the burrs off. So we have a good seal with our washer. And last but not least, I, I washed everything off, soaked it in star sand, and then uh, I let it sit in star sand for a couple hours just to kind of let it condition. I put about two ounces of star sand to just a tub full of water in my sink, and I let them sit there uh, and let the acid kind of do its thing with the metal. And after that, I then took the coil, as you can see here, and I pushed it through, fastened it down with a wrench, not too snug, just snug enough that it's firm. Like good, you'll, you'll know, you'll feel the resistance and that's when you stop. So I just snugged it down and then I went and took the actual barbs that will connect to my chilling system and I screwed them in place and then I pushed the thermo well in, uh, bong in, and that was that. So. I hope this is uh, informational enough for you. I didn't want this to be a super long video. I just want to be a quick little tidbit video, uh, but it came out fantastic. Overall for homebrewer doing it yourself, trying to make things work for what you need. It came out pretty good. As you can see, 
on the top. I have my flare fittings on here for the, the barbs for the cooling system. And uh, the bung fit in perfect and snug. It filled in any gaps. So I don't have to worry about any outside air getting in at all. And I still left this hole here at the top because that was where I want to put my airlock still or my blow off tube, whatever. I just wanted to leave this in place. And you'll notice that the bung here has a hole in it. I'm just gonna plug that with something. Um, putty, something, I don't know yet. Might just shove something in there to keep the air from going in. But I did not want my airlock right here. I wanted it to be where it always has been. But uh, I think it came together pretty well. And it's all been, you know, I'll take it all apart and. Uh, clean it and sanitize it one more time before I actually uh, ferment a beer and put this in there, but I'm pretty happy with it. I can't say I'm not. It looks pretty good. Uh, the other lid will work with the bung uh, as well, but what I might do is I might just order a new step drill bit because the other ones were worn out, so it was kind of tearing the steel a little bit. Uh, I just need a new bit that I can kind of put a nice clean a little bit larger hole there and then uh, hopefully it'll seal better and everything so not that it doesn't now but I just want it to look better too so anyways hope you guys are all doing well and uh, we'll see you next time cheers